The first programming language, with a different structure in building and compiling code. This sentence doesn't sound like an advertising slogan. It is the exact definition of the Unison language, a language that has come to change one of our deepest assumptions about programming. Hmm? Code is just a text file. Unison says, code should be a living entity, not a deletable file. And this single sentence defines the entire philosophy of this language. What exactly is Unison? Unison is a modern, functional, and distribution-oriented programming language that has been designed from the ground up for the world of scalable systems, cloud, blockchain, and distributed applications. Not for simple single-system programs. Not for local scripts. Unlike most languages that later try to patch themselves into the distributed world, Unison was built for this exact world from day one. Who is the creator of Unison? And why did he even build something like this? The main creator of this language is Paul Kiusano, someone who has previously worked on deep concepts of functional programming, distributed systems, and computational models. His core idea started with a simple but dangerous question. Why do we still store code like files from the 1980s? Oh. In a world where databases are distributed, servers are cloud-based, applications run on thousands of nodes, why do we still manage code with copy-paste? Unison was born from this exact intellectual protest. Hmm? In 99% of languages, you write a file, hmm. save it, compile it, get the output. But in Unison, code is not a file at all. Code is stored as a hashed entity content address, like Git, but much deeper. Meaning, each function equals a unique hash. If even one character of a function changes, a new hash is generated. Two functions with identical content anywhere in the world equals exactly one identity. Oh. The result? Automatic versioning. Change detection without line-by-line -line comparison. The complete removal of the concept of overwriting code. Why is Unison important for large-scale systems? Because in large systems, the main problem is not the program logic itself. The real problems are these. Oh. Version incompatibility. Unpredictable behaviors. Hmm. Differences in output between servers. Errors that occur only on a single node. Unison targets these issues at the root, not with external tools, but with the language itself. Is Unison just a research language? Unison was not built only for academic papers. Its real-world applications include distributed backends, cloud services, blockchain systems, infrastructures that run simultaneously across multiple locations. Unison's ultimate goal is this, to make writing distributed software as easy as writing a simple program. But is learning Unison hard? Mentally? Yes. In terms of syntax, not that much. Why is it hard? Because your way of thinking has to change. You no longer think in terms of files. You no longer think in terms of manual deploy. You no longer think in terms of versioning with Git. All of these are solved inside the language itself. Now let's go back to that very first sentence. The first programming language with a different structure in building and compiling code, with a completely new system for storage. Hmm. Now we understand this sentence better. Build in Unison is not just about turning text into binary. Compilation means creating a mathematical identity for the program's logic. Storage means registering a living entity inside a global graph of functions. Hmm. In Unison, code is not something that is merely written. It is something that hmm. enters a living ecosystem. And this is exactly what Python, Java, C++, and even Rust still lack. An intrinsic identity for the program's own logic. And the final question. If in the future, programs are no longer files. If code is no longer overwritten. If versions live on their own. 
Are we still programming with the same old mindset? 